Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we don't have a repair video, but we actually have a good useful tip video. Now, on top of my bench, I have a oil pan with stripped out threads, and I'll show you guys what happened here. And I'll show you guys how to remedy this for a temporary fix, just in case you are not able to fix the oil pan right away, and you have to get your car around to a mechanic, or use it for a little bit before you can get to it. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in here, and I'll explain to you what we're doing today. All right, guys, so I got you guys set up on the bench here. Now, this is our oil pan. And when I went and I removed my drain plug while it was still on the truck, the drain plug came out looking like this. Now, you guys can see all of this thread material is on there. You can see it's grabbing my glove. It's actually so bad that when I had it in my hand, it actually ripped my glove, guys. But you guys can see this thing is just absolutely boogered up. There's no threads left on this. And the oil pan basically shares the same exact story, guys. If I get you guys in here, you guys can see it's all shiny in there. There are no threads left. Now, the threads came off on this uh, just because, you know, I'm guessing these threads were old and they just ripped off when I went to remove this plug. Uh, when this happens, normally you'll feel the drain plug comes off, but it almost has like a subtle grittiness feeling and it feels like it's been Loctited on there. And when I was removing it, that's kind of what I felt. Now, in this scenario, the customer opted to replace the oil pan. That's why we have this oil pan here, and we're making a video on it. Um, so I went ahead and I replaced this pan. But if you're at home, and let's say this happens to you, and this is your car, and you don't have the time or the money to go to the mechanic, or you don't have the time to do it yourself as of yet, they do make a temporary solution, guys. And keyword here is going to be temporary. That can get you down the road for a little bit before you have the time to fix it or the funds to fix it. And that thing is going to be this guy right here. Now, this looks like a drain plug. A lot of you may look at it and be like, hey, that's just a drain plug. What's so special about it? Well, this is an oversized drain plug, guys. Now, the way these work, if you guys will see, most drain plugs do not have these cutouts like this one has down here. Um, the way they make these is if you look at your original versus this one, now, the way the camera's picking it up, and I can see it, this one looks like it's bigger. But believe it or not, this one is actually bigger than this one these are a little bit bigger in the diameter than the original ones that's why they're called oversized drain plugs and the way this works is when i insert this into the oil pan with these little four cutouts here this will squeeze in and kind of go in the hole and as i tighten it it'll basically chase threads and cut its own threads now sometimes when you use these you do run the risk of putting metal inside the engine because i have seen these things cut out threads quite badly before but it's just the risk that you run um, typically if it's an aluminum pan it's a lot better than a steel one like we have in front of us but you know you gotta kind of pick your battle here all right guys so before i install my oversized drain plug and i show you guys how this works i thought i'd take the drain plug that came out of this pan and actually install it in there for you guys so you can see the noticeable difference um, as you guys can see this thing has a lot of wobble to it and even though I'm screwing it in, uh, one thing you'll pick up here is that this thing does not tighten. By now, this thing should be very, very tight, and it's just not. It just keeps rolling around, and you can see how loose it is. Now, I'll flip the pan over and show you guys on this end here, too. And I apologize if my camera work isn't great, but you can see, and I don't know how well the camera picks it up. It's just spinning in there. There's no use in it staying in there. It's just very, very loose fitting. Um... So I wanted to point this out that if you try to reuse this and you try to put it in there, that's what you're going to be left with. This is going to leak or come out and all your oil will come out and eventually you will destroy or hurt your engine. So let me go ahead and get set up and I'll install our oversized drain plug and show you guys how well this works. The way this works, guys, is you're going to take your drain plug or your oversized drain plug, I should say. You're going to want to basically put it in by hand and you want to center it and you want to get as close and good as you can. And what I do is I take my ratchet and it's going to be in the tighten position. And what you're going to want to do is just center it up and thread it in. Now, these can sometimes be very difficult. I will tell you, even right now, it's fighting me because I am on the table and it's very difficult. This will normally be bolted up to an engine so it really wouldn't fight you. But what you want to do 
is ratcheted down now i'm gonna cut the video i'm gonna go ahead and ratchet this all the way in here guys so you don't see me do this for about five minutes and i'll show you guys what it looks like coming out on the inside all right guys so i went ahead and i got this thing tightened up and it's actually a really nice snug fit if you were to put this one in there it would just spin around and this one as you guys can see just to kind of demonstrate on here you can see that you can lift up the whole oil pan now we flip this over we can actually see what's going on here and i don't know how well this camera is going to pick it up um, it may not pick it up really that good guys but what this did is it cut its own threads in there. This front nose half of it kind of collapsed and conformed. Uh, but that's what it looks like on the inside. Now, I do apologize because this doesn't give it the greatest, uh, you know, look here. This camera angle is horrible. But I got no other way to get back in there, guys. Um, that would be the best angle I could get. But basically, now this plug is nice and tight versus me putting this one in there when i would install this one it would go all the way and then it would just kind of you know move in there it wouldn't really tighten up and this one tightened up very very nicely all right guys now that you've seen how this works um i do want to stress that this is a temporary fix a permanent fix would be to replace the oil pan the reason why i say they're temporary is because if you have no threads and you jam a bigger bolt in there, um, you know, yeah, you can make threads, but it probably won't hold out as long as proper threading. So you can choose to do this and use it as long as you want. I'm just here to show you guys that these are out there. They can help you if you wind up stripping out your oil drain plug. I will say that they work better on aluminum than steel, but they do work on both quite effectively. And you should be able to get a few miles or a few months down the road uh, buy you a little bit of time to replace your oil pan or do whatever it is you're going to be doing with it so with that said guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe it definitely helps my channel grow and i'll catch you guys on the next repair until then i hope you guys have a wonderful day